I didn't think it would turn out this good. Look at that, it's so pretty. It's been on my FYP and TikTok all week. Sam Hansen. During college, I always walk this path. To be a bone marrow donor. They have a plentiful day eco collection. Must be nice. Hi everyone, it's Marianne and before I share with you my August vlog, which I had so much fun filming this month so I can't wait for you to watch it, I would first would like to do an unboxing with you and this one is from Daily Harvest. I'm pretty sure you're very familiar with Daily Harvest, you've seen it in YouTube, on Instagram, and probably seen their products shared in your favorite YouTubers channel and Instagrammers account. And Daily Harvest sent me a box of their products to try and I'm really excited because I'm a big fan of their company and of their products, but if you're not familiar with Daily Harvest. They provide ready-to-eat, easy-to-repair meals. They are made of real fruit and vegetables and they also have very sustainable packaging. So that's why I'm a very big fan of them and I can't wait to try the products they sent me. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what I got. First one is the cold brew and almond. This one has banana, almond, cold brew, cacao, coconut, and wild pine pollen. And here's another smoothie that I got which is the acai and cherry. So this one has cherry, blueberry, banana, and raspberry, acai, and kale. So it's kind of like an acai bowl but in a smoothie form. And this one is one of their oat bowls and I chose the flavor mulberry and dragon fruit. And this one is an oat bowl. I'm not a oatmeal person but I'm very excited to try out this one. And this one is blackberry and magic and this one is a chia bowl. And this is one of their harvest bowl which is the lentil and tomato. I'm really excited for this one. I'm going to have this for lunch tomorrow. And lastly, this is one of their soup which is the carrot and coconut curry. I'm very excited for this one. When I saw this, I immediately picked this out. So I'm excited to try this one out as well. So yeah, I'm very excited to try all of these products out. I've been trying to eat a lot healthier. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I've been sharing what I eat in a day or my meal preps. But the thing is though with my meal preps, I don't always get to do them consistently. Like this week, I wasn't able to meal prep. So I was just like eating junk food for the past two days. So I'm really happy that I received this today so I can start eating healthier again. But if you're interested in getting your own daily harvest box, you can get up to $40 off your first box using my code MYWISTESLIFE and the link is down in the description. Go check it out and let's get on with my vlog. Enjoy watching. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday, August 4th and today I am getting ready to go to my hair appointment. I'm getting a haircut. I haven't had a haircut in a while. Well, I did get a haircut early this spring when I got my eyebrows microbladed, but it was such a bad haircut that I needed to get another one and I just didn't have a time. Well, I just didn't have a reason to get another haircut until now since I my birthday is coming up and I have a wedding to go to the same weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. So I thought I should go get my hair done. Yeah, I'm on my way to my hair appointment. I'm actually running late. My appointment's 11. It's already 10 o'clock, so I have to get going. But I didn't wash or fix my hair because I am going to the salon. But now I'm kind of like second guessing that decision because do you wash your hair or fix your hair before going to the salon? Because I'm like, that's the point of going to the salon. You're gonna shampoo your hair, cut your hair, fix your hair and everything. So why do it before going there? But since this is already like day three of my hair and you can see how greasy it is, you might even see like some dry shampoo residue. So I'm kind of like, now I'm kind of embarrassed to go to the salon with dirty hair, but I guess we'll see. And I'll try to vlog a little bit of it. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! <laughs> with my haircut. I love it so much. I didn't think it would turn out this good because the haircut didn't take long. It was her styling it that took longer and actually shampooing my hair. 
actually appreciate that like she shampooed my hair twice conditioned gave me a whole massage and then she also did my eyebrows and everything just cost like $50 it's crazy so I did end up giving her a $20 tip so it's like $70 because that's what I would usually pay to get my hair cut somewhere else without tip so this is amazing I really love it I did also ask her to take a video off the back which was even more amazing so I will insert the clip right here so you can see it but my hair will never be this good ever again I really love how it turned out and I can't believe I'm just wasting this in grocery shopping so hopefully I could recreate this look next weekend for the wedding and for my birthday dinner but we will see oh my god I'm obsessed I'm very obsessed <laughs> And I'm back! I don't know if that transition made any sense since I did vlog clips while I was at the salon and running errands. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. I don't know if it looks any different to you aside from it being washed and blow dry because this is hair after I ran errands for like two to three hours and sat in traffic. So yeah, but I really like it and I was surprised that she only charged me $50, which was amazing. So I think I'm gonna go back to her and continue going back to her to cut my hair. And I'll put the details of the salon in the description if you're interested and you're in the DMV area, but it's at Eden Center. Here she is, ready to go to her new plant mama. So I'm in line for gas at Costco, but let me show you real quick the plant that I traded for. So this is the Monstera Stadliana Aurea. Look at that, it's so pretty. I think she gave me a much better cutting than the one that I gave her. Because mine was a fresh cutting though. It was um, from the mother plant. I just cut it like right before I met her. So it wasn't rooted yet, but um, it, it, ha it did have good variegation though for Monstera Stadliana Alba. And she also gave me some I forgot what she called it rapid water or something this is what she uses to propagate all her plants and she said they work fantastic with it so I'm gonna use this one and but since this one is already like rooted I'm gonna check at home how much rooted it is and I might put it straight to Leca because my Bostera Sadliani elbow did really well with Leca I'm sorry I'm just looking at when I'm if I should pull up already or not but yeah so I would go home check the roots and probably put in like a, if the root is long enough if not I will just keep propagating it in water hi everyone so today is August 11th and I just got back from the gym and showered today is also a hair wash day I feel like this vlog is turning into a hair vlog so yeah normally I don't apply heat to my hair I just let it air dry actually this one has and tried a little bit already because I was answering emails but since I have to film I don't have the luxury of waiting for this to air dry so I'm just gonna let it air dry as much as I can while I have lunch and then I'm gonna go blow dry it or heat style it and then I'll be right back oh, I worked up a sweat with that one so I'm setting up to do my TikTok videos now. I, I mean, it's daytime, it's very bright, so I don't really need to use a ring light, but I'm going to test out a TikTok hack when it comes to get better lighting. So I wanna see if it works, so I'm gonna do that now. Excuse the mess that you see in the background, but this is basically how TikTok told me how to set up my lights, separate the phone from the ring light and have the ring light a little bit higher and leaning down at a 45 degree angle so I don't know if you can see it because the ring light is back leaning everything but yeah so I have about four TikTok slash Instagram reel that I am going to film today one is because the hashtag book talk is trending on TikTok I'm gonna take advantage of that and promote my book The Ultimate Guide to Pothos Plants and I'm currently having an ebook sale on it right now so I want to promote that over TikTok and the other one that I need to film is the one that uses the Reba theme song sound and I'm featuring the Alec Holmes 
handheld vacuum in that one they did tell me to do a video for it or anything but i did offer because alec homes is one of the companies and brands that i love working with they sent me humidifiers in the past and they reached out to me offering to send me another one but i'm like i already have way too many humidifiers so they asked if i want to try out their other products and i asked to try out their handheld vacuum and so far i've been loving it this has come so handy when i'm trying to clean up my desk clean up after my plants so basically that's the concept of the tiktok is me cleaning up after my plants the daughter to just trending sounds like the questions i've asked that pop 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 and then i saw the sign which is the pitch perfect choreography which i've been wanting to do for a long time and now it's a trending sound and i've mastered the dance so i am going to do that so yeah, so I'm gonna go film it right now and I'm gonna show you a little bit behind the scenes. I keep messing up, I keep messing up the dance. I think that's good enough. So I'm just gonna trap it and film the rest. So if you're not following me on Instagram or on TikTok yet, go follow me. The username is the same at my Oasis Life, and I'll also link them down in the description. But yeah, so right now I'm just gonna do a little bit more editing and I think that would be it for today. I'm about to head out to go to this wedding celebration, but Alabama TikTok has been on my FYP and TikTok all week and I wanna do my own fit check and OOTD. So let's go start. So this is what I am wearing. This is a romper from Ross. I am wearing a shawl over it just to cover my arms and my shoes are from Uggs. Don't worry about it being a little bit dirty. My jewelry, this one is a gift. This one is from Kate Spade and Pura Vida. Earrings are from TJ Maxx. <laughs> and I did my own hair. Purse is Steve Madden. <laughs> so this is the complete look. How are we loving it? And these are my shoes again. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go head out. <laughs> finished lunch with my friends and we're just stopping by the campus to see our old stomping grounds and it's really amazing to be reunited with them because everyone but one was able to make it because she just had a newborn baby so it was exciting to see everyone again after such a long time and even my friend from New York he came down so and we just like spent the lunch reminiscing about our old college days especially as an RA so it was really fun and yeah we're just gonna go check out the campus a little bit see what changed since we graduated and then we'll see i'm excited to share with you my old campus i went to the university of maryland those buildings are dorms called commons this is commons three and four i live in commons five which i think we might pass by we will see that is where i used to live that building over there that is commons five is the stadium uh, yeah excited to be on campus i'm gonna go meet up my friends and we're gonna walk around walking towards an iconic location jim henson kermit the frog that is the student union
during college I always walk this path from my dorm to my classes so that was a fun trip memory lane like walking around campus and like reminiscing and seeing all the places where we used to take classes where we used to live it was so much fun and but now I am joining my friends for drinks but I think I'm gonna call it for today's vlog and I'll just see you tomorrow bye hello Nestle Crunch what's up what you doing you don't know Hi everyone, so today is Sunday, August 15, it is my birthday and about last night I actually did not end up going to dinner slash happy hour with my friends because when I checked the time, it would take me an hour to get to Bethesda from College Park because of traffic and then it would take me again more than an hour to get back home and the dogs are waiting, they need to be walking fed so I just decided to go home and to be honest I was quite tired because it was a pretty long day I mean from the wedding to lunch and then going around campus but it was really amazing seeing them because I haven't seen a lot of them since the pandemic started and it's also been a long time that we were all together at one place at one time I mean we were missing a friend or two but it was still amazing to be able to gather everyone especially for such an important occasion as a friend's wedding so yes I'm really happy to see them especially on my birthday weekend and today I am about to get ready to go out for my birthday lunch originally I think I mentioned um, a few days earlier that I was gonna have a birthday dinner I made reservations at Nobu in DC but I ended up canceling the reservation because a I didn't really like the menu they had for restaurant week plus their location is not really that ideal it's not like Nobu in Malibu they're in like some sketchy building in a very sketchy part of Georgetown they're not even at the waterfront so I just decided to cancel that reservation and I thought of going to Primrose too which is a very nice French restaurant but like eh, I decided against it and then you know what, let's just go to Jollibee. Jollibee is a fast food chain restaurant from the Philippines if you are not familiar with it. And, and they open one in Wheaton. And they're actually going to open one in Alexandria too, I just found out. But the Alexandria location is not yet open. So we're gonna go to the Wheaton one and have my birthday lunch there. And last night I also got a box from Sephora. I ordered something from their website. Because you know, if you're a part of the Sephora Rewards program, you can get a birthday gift from them. So I claimed that and I claimed a couple of other samples from my rewards points and I also bought something so that it could get shipped to me because you have to purchase something. So they were having a little bit of a sale so I purchased something for $10 which was originally $30 and it was like a summer set or something that contains like deluxe sample sizes. So basically all of this are just samples. So instead of paying for shipping, I just paid something for $10 and get a few extra products. So what I got for my birthday from Sephora is this this is rare beauty one is a lip souffle and the other is a blush liquid blush yeah so this was the lip souffle so it's kind of like i don't know if it's gonna match oh oh so this is like what usually i wear yeah there you go and the other one is this and this one is for the cheek so this one i think is a little bit lighter pink that might be too light for me but we will see this one's a body cream from Fenty Beauty and this one is a cream from Amore Pacific and this is what I got with my rewards points it's about 50 points as a Sephora vitamin C and E serum I think and I had some more points but I didn't like what else they had so I just didn't use them up this is what I got for $10 and it's really surprising how many stuff is in here. It's originally $30 but it was on sale for $10 because I think this is supposed to be like a summer pack and then summer is almost ending. So the biggest item was this one. So the largest item in it is this one in the body scrub. I've never tried this before but I want to try it because I do have some bumps in my arms. And see it will help get rid of that. This camera won't focus. Let's see what it feels like. So it's like oh yeah, so it is like exfoliating. It also has the Anastasia brow pencil. Mm. So that's what it looks like. It might be a little bit light for me, but we will see. Came with this perfume sample. It's, it's a good smell, but it's a strong smell. I might wear that today. And it came with a Sephora brow gel. Oh, this has a lot of stuff in it. And I do need the brow gel because the one that I currently use 
does not work like I got the Maybelline one thinking it's a dupe for the benefit one but it's not I still like the benefit more but that one is so expensive it's like $26 came with a super goop sunscreen I really like this one this one doesn't leave any white cast it's just very expensive why I really got this sample bag is this one the way detox shampoo I tried ordering this from the way website well from the way Amazon site like their official seller but when it shipped I think it got lost in the mail so I never got it I'm gonna try it if this detox shampoo is good but so far I've heard good things about it there's also one from Bumble and Bumble that I want to try and I know these are like expensive hair care products but the thing is I tried every drugstore product for my hair and nothing really worked but when I started using Olaplex I've started using it since like June my hair has gotten so much better I'm not washing my hair as much I'm washing my hair once or twice a week now and the reason that I'm investing so much in my hair care because I am experiencing a little bit of hair loss like if you've seen my previous videos or any of my videos on Instagram or TikTok sometimes I always like cut it off the head part or I have weird edits because I don't like showing my top over here because you can see like I have a lot of hair loss that is actually like thinning a little bit now I mean it's not that bad or like really like oh I'm getting bald at the top but it is thinning and you could see my scalp well I can see my scalp more than I would like to so I'm trying to make sure that my hair is not breaking as much that's why I started using Olaplex it's not gonna help with hair growth but if my hair is not breaking as much then my hair growth could catch up and I will have more hair if that makes sense but it's going to take a long time before I have a fuller set of hair on top again but that's why I'm investing in a lot of I want to say expensive because expensive doesn't equal quality but I'm investing in more quality hair products which happens to be a little bit more expensive but they do work and I know Olaplex is expensive but because the product is so concentrated and because it works so well that I don't have to shampoo or condition my hair as often the product is actually lasting pretty long. I'm still using the same bottle that I bought back in June and I haven't even used half of it. Granted, I do have fine thin hair, but my hair is long so I do have a lot of hair to wash still. But it really depends if you think it's worth it or not. For me, it is worth it, especially because I do YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok and it just helps me not worry about my hair or have to do a lot of hair management before I turn on my camera and film. Like now, I'm filming my camera, I just like did like that to my hair and I'm okay being with on camera because my hair is not as flat it's not as greasy it looks it still looks pretty good even on the second day of wash because usually my hair don't even last like 24 hours it's already like so greasy now I can go three or four days without washing and usually after a treatment day I could last for six seven days without washing my hair and it will still be okay uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go get ready. Okay, so I've used most if not all of the makeup samples that I just got from Sephora and I think it turned out pretty okay. The blush actually was a good match. I don't know if it appears on camera but it was just like the perfect shade of pink. The lipstick though I think it's a little bit light on me but I might not be used to such pinkish color. I usually go for the brownish more neutral berry colors and this one's maybe just outside of my usual color and I just had my hair the same way I had yesterday I just like twist up the top so yeah we're about to head out and I'll take some clips of the Jollibee at Wheaton I guess so if you're in Maryland in the MV area and you haven't tried it out yet go check it out I promise you you're gonna love the fried chicken there the chicken joy as well as the spaghetti and palabok and also make sure to get the peach mango pie that is like the perfect dessert but yeah so i'll catch you later It's Monday, August 16th, and today is a very rainy and gloomy day. I was actually headed to the gym, but I got lazy, so I just decided to start working and answer my emails. And the reason that I decided to turn on the camera and vlog today is because one of the emails that I received is from Be The Match. And if you're not familiar with Be The Match, it's a national bone marrow donor program, and I've registered to be a donor 
since I was in college and they emailed me to see if I want to keep myself on the registry because it's been like and I'm dating myself here. It's been 13 years since I last registered with them. And when I registered, honestly, I thought nothing of it. Uh, only re the only reason that I registered is one of my friends was hosting a drive for her organization. Nobody was signing up and I kind of felt bad. So I decided to sign up as a favor for her, but really thought nothing of it. I just thought I was doing a friend a favor. Then a few years later, when I was in grad school, I was actually reached out by Be The Match to be a bone marrow donor. And I did say to become a donor, but if you were found to be a match, you don't have to say yes, and there's no obligation for you to say yes. But I did say yes, and because the likelihood of them finding another match is probably low, because the unfortunate thing is for people of color, and I think especially for women of color, there are very few of us registered as donors, as bone marrow donors, that if you are suffering from blood cancer like leukemia or lymphoma and you need a bone marrow donor or a stem cell donor, the chances of you finding one is very low because there's so few of us registered into the donor system. So I did say yes and I know nothing about the patient or the person receiving my bone marrow or my stem cells. All I know, he is a 55-year-old man from Singapore. And this is a worldwide data system, so the person who could be your match could be anywhere in the world, not just in the US. And mine happened to be in Singapore. I'm not surprised. I'm Filipino, Southeast Asian, and like I said, very few of us are in the system. So it's, I'm not surprised that somebody in Singapore will find their match all the way in America. Um, so when I said yes to becoming a donor, honestly, it's not as scary as people might think. It's just a lot of, you know, medical examinations because they need to make sure that you're in perfect health to actually be a donor. And also, I'm not gonna lie, there's a little bit of pain involved. I had to take um, injections for an entire week before the actual day that I have to make my plasma or bone marrow donation. And actually, that's the only painful part for me was the side effects or after or after effects of the injections that I had to take for an entire week. But the actual donation process, there was no surgery involved. It's pretty much just like doing a regular blood donation. It's just like a longer process because they do have to cycle your entire blood system to get enough plasma or to get enough stem cell from your blood system. And but after that, there was no recovery period. I literally was in the hospital. I did this at Georgetown Hospital, which is the number one hospital in the world, not just in the US, not just in DC, not just in Maryland, to be doing this entire process. That's why I was also confident with doing the donation process. And this was at no cost to me. They footed everything, even for my transportation to and back the hospital. So they paid for everything, my MRIs, all my examination that I had to take, all the tests that I had to take which was very ex extensive and they covered it all. So, so the reason I'm mentioning this is I just wanna encourage you, especially if you're a person of color, a woman of color, to be a registered donor at Be The Match. Like I said, you don't have to decide if you really actually want to be a donor or even if you are registered as a donor right now, it doesn't mean that you'll be matched right away. It will take months, maybe even years, or never at all for someone to find you a match. But I would encourage you to please do register yourself as a bone marrow donor with Be The Match and the entire process is very safe and confidential. But like I said, I've been a registered donor for 13 years. I was a match, I was a donor and you know, nothing happened to me health-wise, medically. It doesn't affect me at all or nothing also happened with my information that I shared with them, whether it's like, you know, my personal information or my medical information. Nothing happened with that. It was all kept confidential. And if you have any questions about the program, you can go check out the website. You can even reach out to them to see if you have any questions about becoming a registered donor or the donation process itself. But I would leave the website down below, but it's at bethematch.com. Please, please do check it out. And who knows, you might end up saving your life without even knowing it. But yeah, so that's it for today. That's all I want to say hopping on for today's vlog and I'll catch you at the next one. Hi babies. Just living your best life, huh? Had your walk, ate, and now it's time for your morning nap. Must be nice.
Hi everyone, it's Monday, August 23rd and I have a package that arrived and I think I know what it is and I'm very excited to unbox it with you. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I have recently created the Have a Plentiful Day Eco Collection on Teespring which you could probably see the banner now below this video and I hesitated to do a Teespring collection for a long time. For YouTubers, once you get 10k subscribers and up, you can have a Teespring merchandise advertised below your videos. And I hesitated for a long time to create a Teespring collection because none of their products are eco-friendly, they didn't have any sustainable offerings, but now they do. So from their eco-conscious collection, I picked out four items, a sweatshirt, a hoodie, a t-shirt, and a tote bag, and I just placed a very minimal design. It says, have a plentiful day, which is something I love to say at the end of my videos. And I will come up with more designs. So if you're interested in any of the items in my Have a Plentiful Day Eco Collection, please do check it out. The profits from that will help support my channel. And I'm not making a lot of money from this merchandise since it's Teespring. I don't really have any overhead, so I didn't even go with their recommended price or profit margin that I could earn. I basically cut my profit in half from what they recommended just so I could make the items in this collection as affordable as I possibly can. And like I said, profits from this merchandise will help support my channel and help make the videos that I want to create for you and videos that you want me to create for you. But yeah, but I did order a sample shirt from my collection and it came today. So I kind of want to like open it up and show it to you all. And, ooh, and the t-shirt is right over here so the supplier for the shirt is next level sustainable i did order it in large and i think this is the color green or heather green and this is a unisex t-shirt so let's go see Ooh, and the t-shirt is very soft and very thick and i really love the color i specifically wanted to buy this color but I think it also comes in gray and in black if you're interested and like I said I just have a very minimal design on it that says have a plentiful day but yeah I'm gonna go try it on and share it with you and yeah it says have a plentiful day and yeah so here's what the shirt looks like on me I really love it the material is so soft it's so comfortable I think it's going to be one of my favorite t-shirts you're going to be seeing a lot of this t-shirt in my videos so watch out for that I actually probably gonna wear this in the video that I'm filming tomorrow but yeah so if you're interested in purchasing this t-shirt the hoodie or the sweatshirt or the tote bag just click on the banner below and it will take you to my have a plentiful day eco collection on Teespring yeah I think this is where I'm going to end my August vlog I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you in my September vlog and any products or videos that I mentioned throughout the video I would have linked it down in the description and if you purchase anything using my affiliate links it would greatly support me and my channel and I would really appreciate it but thank you so much for watching this month's vlog and I'll see you at my next one bye